Hello to all of the beautiful souls watching. Welcome to another pick a card video. This one is going to be all about um, who is developing feelings for you around this time, who is starting to get obsessed with you and starting to um, be very, very attracted to you. So it is going to be all, of, all about that. And it could also be about people who are starting to develop a crush on you. So I'm going to be um, delivering information regarding all of that in this video we got three options again the first option is on the very left which is the knight of cups the second option in the middle is the knight of swords and lastly we have the ace of coins as our third option you can definitely choose more than one however choose only the ones that are really truly calling out to you the most and um yeah without further ado let's hop into the first option the knight of cups Okay, so if you're chosen the option number one, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, the High Priestess, Knight of Wands, the Devil, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, Two of Swords, Four of Wands in the reverse, and lastly we have the Fool card. So, um, so for the Zodiac signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Leo, and also Taurus and also aries as well so um let's see what do we have for the messages so i feel like this is somebody who likes to drink tea i know why i heard like green tea or um like chamomile tea like something like herbs and all like you know all those things are infused in this person's tea and that's why i'm getting like this person is kind of fond of that and um yeah and i feel like somebody has a very old books like an old collection of books like in which there are like lots and lots of vintage looking books something about that too yeah i'm getting this could be somebody who you rejected um yeah or this could be someone who turned you down but that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this person. This is definitely someone who um, who knows you. I, I feel like this is not like a new person or this is not someone you've like met yesterday or something. I feel like this is somebody who knows you. Not, I'm not saying like they know you very deeply or something. But this person is aware of you. Aware of how you are and your personality. Somebody has very dark hair, straight hair also. Um, somebody could be into spirituality or is getting into spirituality. Um, somebody is also trying to read books to know about like witches and maybe reading things about supernatural stuff is also what I'm getting. Yeah. And I'm also sensing that somebody has had... Um, some experiences with ghosts that's also another thing that i'm getting over here and um probably as a child or probably in your dreams or something or this person could have had and um okay i feel like this is somebody who feels like they did something or they said something and that's kind of um that was the point where they felt like they lost it all and like yeah they had no control that's that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting and um yeah i'm also sensing that this person is aware that there are other people also who are wanting your attention who are wanting to be with you or wanting to date you or something of that sort um or to get involved with you romantically and this person is aware of those people and this person feels like they are just one of those people in the crowd or another thing i am sensing over here is that this person might be getting a lot of attention and this person might be having lots of people approaching them lots of people wanting to be with them but this person is just not wanting anybody except you for some of you, I'm even sensing that this could be someone who helped you in the time when you were um, in need of some sort of support or you helped this person when they were in need of support. That's why I'm getting for a lot of you. 
yeah um like this person was present when you were going through some sort of a struggle is what i'm sensing this person could also be someone who is more mature than you or has had more experiences yeah and um for a few of you this could be your ex this could be someone you um probably didn't even think about dating or you met this person but there was a prospect but you didn't go towards it or um you weren't interested something of that sort or this was a relationship it did not last very long that's also another thing and um i know for some of you i'm even sensing that somebody's having regrets or somebody's going through some sort of a um like a feeling of grief remorse that's why i'm getting did this person do something wrong or did they say something wrong if this person did they're definitely regretting it really bad and um this person wishes they could like turn it all back turn it all around and um yeah i feel like this person is in that mode of regret yeah this person is kind of contemplating what they did in their actions and they're kind of in that reflective mode right now yeah and also i'm sensing that if you're thinking about someone this person um whoever you're thinking about they're actually um their intuition is quite sensitive right now and they're able to um it's kind of like they're also kind of thinking about you you know if you're really really into someone right now like i'm not even joking like you're thinking about this person every 5 minutes of the day um i feel like that person is very intuitive right now or their intuition is kind of at the kind of on the receptive mode and um i feel like this person is able to get that in not that you're thinking about this person but they would also have this they would also have these moments when you are going to um strike up in their mind and you're going to pop up in their mind like all of a sudden they're going to be like oh like wow so that's that's why i'm getting for some of you and um for some of you i'm even sensing this person could be someone who has a very big family like i see um many members you know it's not like a small family or something um so definitely there is somebody of that sort here um this person is this person could also be an earth sign for some of you yeah at least this person takes decisions that way this person really thinks and um does not go off by their impulse and um i'm also getting somebody is dealing with some eye conditions or some allergies or something like i see redness in the eye and something about two rainbows double rainbow is that a double rainbow yeah so maybe you saw that recently or you're going to see it that's a very big sign for you guys um yeah i do see that and there is a path that you have to walk on and it's going to be revealed to you um yeah and i am also sensing somebody is like somebody's drinking milk or something about milk or somebody needs to drink milk that's another thing as well somebody is also losing sleep yeah mm and somebody is also burning a lot of candles i'm also getting somebody is um thinking of buying jewelry and yeah i feel like you're going to do it you're going to buy it soon but you have your eye on it but you don't have the resources yet the resources are coming to you whatever you're wanting if it is in regards to finances i feel like that is coming to you and um i feel like if you are manifesting someone it's already done yeah if it is in regards to a person um 
yeah and you're manifesting this person to come into your life and to feel a certain way for you or something of that sort i don't know um it's gonna vary from person to person but if that is the scenario and you are manifesting i feel like if it is if it is in regards to a person it's already done i'm hearing again and again it is done in the 5d it's only like a matter of time that it's going to come in the 3d and you'll be able to see it yeah but i feel like it is done if it is in regards to a person and let's see what else okay somebody could be a cancer i'm also getting that somebody has a habit of collecting things or collecting gifts that they've gotten over the years i feel like this person has this um like association with gifts or cards or anything that this person would have gotten as a gift i feel like this person really um values it and preserves it for the sake of the memory of it that's why i'm getting like this person has endless things i don't know i just see like a okay they're showing me a journal and then like it's a very worn out and old looking journal like very vintagey type and i see like different sorts of things stuck on each paper and it's like really full that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting somebody could be an aquarius somebody could be a somebody could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius yeah and um i'm also getting somebody used to deal with some sort of an addiction in the past and this person had to overcome it and they did um that's one thing as well something about a huge like it's like a book or should i say it's like an album or something it's like really big and then there are like pictures and stuff that's that's kind of the same thing that i got earlier so maybe somebody has that or somebody's wanting to make that yeah it could even be art journals or something and um and i'm also hearing for some people that this person is looking at you in a different light almost um this person may have been attracted to you beforehand and when this person met you for the first time that might have been the deal breaker for this person but now like this person is on a whole another level and i feel like this person is kind of they're not able to help it but this person is kind of seeing you in a different light and it's almost like you are more shiny to this person you're more charming you're more um magnetic to this person and they're not able to resist you beforehand you were attracted attractive to this person but this person was able to contain it now this person is not able to contain it that's that's why i'm getting yeah and i feel like this person is not able to keep their mouth closed is also what i'm getting this person is probably far away from you you're not even in talking terms with this person is what i'm getting yeah that's what i'm getting and um it's like this person is really really far away from you i literally see like um it's not like long distance or something that's not the vibe and um somebody could be a leo somebody has really sharp teeth um somebody's thinking of getting their teeth whitened um or somebody's working on that is also another thing um yeah something about braces also um yeah i do see that number 8 very significant for you guys number 8 and number 7 also and if you see 11 11 a lot um this is your pile no doubt about that definitely and do listen to songs which pop up in your mind um i'm hearing that there are going to be random songs which would pop up in your mind during the day and you'd be like oh you would not probably give it much notice but you need to look up for the songs and those songs have a hidden message for you and um yeah 
whoever this person is um if they were in a relationship before which was not working for them i feel like this person has gotten out of it this person has even um like gotten rid of the chains that this person was tied to before and i'm also getting that you should not like it's a very random message for someone but i feel like there could be other people talking to you about this person don't believe those people especially if it does not feel good okay be aware of um all those people who are going to talk to you about this person and um whatever they tell you if it feels good it could be right but if it does not it's not right and um why i am sensing that is because there are going to be people who will just say things um because they have some other motive like underneath what they're saying um but that's not necessarily the truth and i feel like this situation is kind of hidden under the veil and you you or anyone like nobody knows what's going on in this person's head this person is not communicating anything with anyone like not even the closest of their friends or um the person that you know lives next door something of that sort like nobody this person is this person has their mouth shut um if somebody knows the truth or if somebody knows something even closer to the truth it is you they're saying and um trust your intuition trust your gut um yeah listen to the songs that pop up in your head those are probably the closest things you can get to the truth and not listening to anyone and um so yeah um that is what i am getting for you guys and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and um do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you've chosen the option number second these are the cards i have for you i have the ace of coins the six of cups the king of swords the ace of spears which is the ace of wands knight of cups four of cups five of cups eight of swords wheel of fortune and la lastly we have the knight of swords so for the zodiac signs i am sensing there could be water signs in the group because of the fact that we have so many cups over here so it would be scorpio has a pisces um i'm also sensing virgo i'm also getting um leo vibes over here in fact i actually got very specifically for someone that somebody's sun sign is going to be in a water sign so that would be um yeah scorpio cancer of pisces and i'm also getting libra and aries so now let's move on to the messages that we have okay um I'm getting somebody's birthday party or somebody's party. Maybe you met this person around that time, uh, around your birthday, around this person's birthday or something of that sort. Um or you could have met this person at a party or something. Um but that's one of the things that I am getting for you guys. And um somebody could also be a Taurus. That's very specific, but I am getting that. a very slim somebody is very slim or um they have like less body fat if that makes any sense and um yeah okay i'm also getting somebody is um like they have this posture where their shoulders are sort of like slouched almost i want to say um yeah that's that's something this person has a habit of studying or reading at night or somebody has a study uh, studying or reading habit um generally towards the night and um yeah somebody also wears glasses reading glasses mostly um this person's room is 
really disorganized is what i want to say or somebody's room is really disorganized or it's like there's so many things and they're like not in their place and um it's and i feel like they're giving me two messages with this they're saying that um the room is disorganized and at the same time this person's mind is also as well so maybe this person whoever they are i feel like they're also kind of feeling disorganized at this point in their life and um yeah whoever this person is i feel like they have a bit of a confidence issue and they're not so um something about a unicorn maybe you're going to see a unicorn or something that could be a sign um but yeah i do see that um this person wants to come towards you um they have really um like if i were to tell you what this person wants to tell you and um what they do want to express around this time you would think that is so romantic um but the problem is this person is not able to um express that or come towards you with those feelings because they feel they feel something some sort of a barrier they feel like they cannot do that there is something standing between this person and the movement or the uh step that they they do want to take towards you that is one thing yeah but on the other hand this person is still dropping hints for you so this is for some people this person is kind of letting you know that there is something in this person's head for you or in their heart for you but this person is not letting you know fully if that makes any sense and um somebody's like something about somebody's hands they're very it's like you know you can see the bones and stuff like they're so like gaunt looking and some something about the ears as well like ears are a bit pointy and the nose too it's pointy and um let's see okay i'm also getting that this person could be having some trouble with their family around this time as well or they're having troubles with stability but i feel that this person is having either troubles with their family or people who they call family so it could be their friends it could be um anyone to be honest but that is one thing that i am sensing this person is not not feeling stable right now that's why i got that messy room visual for this person and um this could some this could be someone who does not like to share their problems or their issues i feel like because um yeah i feel like they think that there is no point in sharing and um yeah i feel that this person is a bit of an introvert i feel like they don't want to share they don't like to actually share their issues especially and um yeah i feel like you're aware of who this person is on some level definitely you're confident you're standing your ground whatever this person lacks right now is what you have so it's kind of you know um weird and strange but it puts you in a power position they're saying you are the opposite and you're you feel powerful you feel stable you feel confident wherever you are you feel empowered and you know you know what's going on with yourself around you and probably with this person as well like you might have an idea but this person on the other hand is none of those things in fact they are far away from it and i think that's one of the reasons why this person is so intimidated by the situation and by the fact that th- what they would say if they were to approach you or how would they even um tackle the situation and um yeah if this is an ex um 
I feel like if this person did you wrong or something, believe me, they have come to realize everything. Um, yeah, don't like. And um, okay, I feel like somebody's not eating food, or somebody's not taking proper meals, but that's not healthy. It feels really um. Like, I don't know how to say, like, detrimental. Somebody's sabotaging also. Okay, let's not go there. Um, but that's for very few of you. And, um, let's see. Okay. I feel like this person will come towards you eventually. Um, but it's not going to be the way you imagine them to come towards you. And, um, let's see what else. Okay. I feel like this person sees you as someone who is quite ideal for them. And they want a relationship with you. They want something with you. For some of you, I feel like this... Now, this is somebody who is not next. This is not next. This is someone who... Um, even... Okay, if they are, which I don't feel for a lot of you, but if this is an ex, then this is going to be someone who wants a totally new and different beginning this time. They want to, They want to start fresh. They want to rip off everything that happened in the past and they want to um yeah start from scratch but i am sensing that this is a new person and this is someone who feels quite hopeful about you quite optimistic towards the situation and they see you as an ideal partner they see you as someone who they can experience things with and they feel that you're going to be there when they need you and at the same time you're going to be able to understand this person's situation that's deep. This person is not just attracted to you. They are also attracted to the idea of being with you. How it would feel to spend time with you, talk to you, discuss things with you. And know things about you which they've never known before. And seeing you in situations where um, they can only like imagine right now. That's quite deep. I love that. That's really cute. And, um, okay. And we were just talking about attraction, and there we have it. This person is very attracted to you, of course. That's a given. And, um, I feel like this attraction is something which is kind of, I'm hearing maddening for this person. So, the reason why they say it is because, um, they're saying that, it kind of caught this person off guard. This person was not prepared for something of the sort or an energy like this. This person was definitely not prepared. Um, and at the same time, I'm also getting that um, they don't know how to um, go about this situation. And at the same time, I feel like the attraction and the level of attraction is so huge that this person finds it hard to take it in or keep it in yeah keep it in yes and um there could be a leo or a scorpio who gets a lot of attention in this pile could be you could be that person um doesn't have to be but i do see some people attracting a lot of um fishy people as well so um that's that and um, I feel like this person is someone who could be quite, I have to say, around this time, this person is a bit lonely. And although they don't have a problem with being lonely, but these days or around this time, they are having a bit of a problem with it because they are not able to decide how to deal with it. But believe me, this person is making their way towards you slowly and steadily. You don't see it quite yet, but this person is coming towards you. And um, everything is working behind the scenes. Everything is happening. 
um, I don't know what you want to happen in the situation, but I see that some things are brewing and things are like approaching towards you, even new things and unexpected things which you're not going to be expecting. Um, yeah, that's what I see. And um, something about the number five, it's really prominent in this pile. Definitely somebody is going through a lot. Somebody, somebody has gone through a lot as well. And there's, there's this energy of number five where it's like, like one after the other struggles and struggles and of course number five does not represent stability in fact it represents the opposite i'm also getting for um a lot of you that in the next encounter that you're going to have with this person a lot of things are going to be revealed plus on top of that i i am also sensing that some sort of a truth is coming towards you and it is going to open up your eyes to something bigger and um it's like it's sort of like a, i don't want to say it's hidden but it's kind it kind of is and like something's going to come out it's kind of like a revelation it also is something which would be revealed to you this is a piece of the truth this is not some like yeah um and um if you've been wanting to traveling somewhere, if you've been wanting to manifest something, um, I see that coming true. I see something coming full circle, definitely around this time. I'm also getting somebody's thinking of having a haircut. Um, if you're thinking of having a haircut, I think you should go with it. I'm also getting for some people that there is somebody in this group who wears a ring with a black stone on it or wears a ring which has a very dark, almost black looking stone on it or this person or you could have like black onyx or something at your house or some something of that sort. Um, that's what I'm getting. And um, I'm also getting for some people you are going to be having some visions around this time. You're going to be seeing things. Um, what's happening with this person? You might be able to see it sometimes. It doesn't have to be in a dream always. It could be in your waking life. And you might just have like a scene play out in front of you. And that is what is exactly going on with this person. So this is not going to apply to everyone. But definitely for some of you, I am sensing that you might get some visuals or some visions of what is going on with this person around this time and um yeah i feel like somebody could be an artist or somebody is very creative is why i'm getting and let's see what else For some of you, I feel like this person is afraid of rejection because I feel like this person has had that before and or maybe they haven't and that's why they're afraid of it. Um, yeah, that's why I'm getting. This person is also imagining fearful situations in their head in regards to this situation and in regards to you, such as heartbreak, such as um, anything which is unpleasant. So yeah, that's why I'm getting and something is going to happen during the time when the sun is going to be in scorpio and um yeah i feel like this person is just fantasizing about meeting you and i'm gonna finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you've chosen the option number third these are the cards i have for you i have the eight of wands the princess of wands six of swords wheel of fortune the hermits seven of cups Three of Discs, which is the Three of Pentacles, the Chariot, King of Wands, and lastly, we have the Seven of Swords for you guys. So for the Zodiac signs, I'm sensing there could be a Leo, there could also be a Cancer. I'm sensing Water Sign vibes from this group as well. Um, 
water signs would be scorpio cancer pisces um i'm also getting somebody has their moon in a water sign that would be yeah um that's very specific for some people i'm getting scorpio mainly yeah scorpion cancer so um for the messages let's see what do we have um okay i'm also sensing fire signs by the way leo scorpio sorry leo i know why am i getting scorpio so much but leo sagittarius and aries that would be okay so i do see somebody with this could be a young person or this could be somebody who has a very i'm hearing the term vivacious vivacious yeah i think that's what it is um that kind of vibe and i'm also getting this person either they're very young or this person um portrays that young and youthful vibrancy in their personality is what i'm getting and um okay so the very first thing that i am getting for you guys is that um the person who is developing feelings for you around this time is someone who is um who is very inclined towards you who has like um they could be very attracted to you definitely um but this person mainly wants to come towards you this person wants to present their intentions to you but there is something stopping this person i'm not getting that this person is going to make a decision or is stuck between two choices or something of that sort it's kind of like this person is stuck in confusion it's almost like this person does not know where to go and what to do about this situation and what to do about their feelings and um that's why this person is in this confused mode right now and um this person does want to come towards you but they don't have a plan um and on top of that this person is not clear about the situation in their head at least i'm also getting for some of you that this person has been conflicted in regards to you um since the time this person encountered you for the very first time um yeah i do see that and you could have met this person through a friend or like it seems like an event like a social gathering or something but if it is not that this seems like some sort of a celebration there is this vibe of celebration definitely yeah i do see that i'm also getting whoever this person is they have like a big stature um yeah i do see something about big feet big hands even um yeah i'm also getting this person is having a hard time communicating what is on their mind um but this person is going to do it like they're going to let you have a sneak peek almost i want to say um if this has not happened yet it is going to happen soon i'm also getting something about the color white and something about um dragonflies butterflies and also um air travel is coming up something about corn maybe somebody likes that um somebody is taking really good care of their teeth or they will need to do that somebody is also probably changing their diet their routine or um their hygiene even yeah that's why i'm getting for some of you for a lot of you you're even changing homes or this person is yeah somebody is even losing weight it's not that they're trying to or they have like a goal or something it's like it's just happening that's that's why i'm getting and um somebody scared of spiders i do see that um okay i'm also getting that there is something going to something that is going to come towards you this has something to do with money and i see like a lot of financial gains happening for you um very very soon i see that and um i'm also getting for some of you that whoever this person is they're kind of um 
like this person is feeling really drawn to you and i'm also getting that this person does not have confidence like they have confidence issues they may even have like like their self image issues as well like this person does not feel like confident within who they are this person is traveling a lot whoever they are i think they just went on a trip or something that's what i'm getting and something about a piece of jewelry um i think this person is going to give you or you're going to wear but this jewelry has some important significance and i feel like something is going to come to you which is going to um mark some sort of a revelation um this is going to be something huge something big this is going to be like a message it could be like a message it could be something that this person is going to say to you um yeah i do see that and definitely these are words and this is going to change everything i feel yeah and for some of you for group number 3 i'm even sensing that there could be more than one um you know around you like people who are developing feelings for you around this time you might not be aware of them even like consciously but yeah that's what i'm getting for some of you and um there is somebody who is trying to hide their feelings this person is mature now i don't know if this is the same person as like the previous ones um but definitely this is a water sign i am sensing this is someone who might not look emotional but they are quite a lot and this person is someone who i would not be surprised if this person is like they have water signs all over their birth chart but definitely this person's moon sign is going to be in a water sign somebody likes coconuts or something about um coconuts or something like coconut water or something that could also be um but this person is trying their best to hide their feelings however if you are having dreams of someone i feel like this person is not doing the best job at hiding and um this person whoever they are they don't just seem mature but this person also um has that vibe i i wouldn't be surprised if this person is older than you uh, also because i do see that um yeah i feel like this person wants to see you i'm hearing whoever they are they want to see you they want they want to say and they want to um do a lot of things with you but mainly they want to say so many things um yeah that song million words by um i believe it's by the vamps is coming in my head and yeah that's the one something about the color blue and um I don't know why am I getting like a very gloomy sort of energy from this person. Is this person is like sad or something or um but something definitely. I'm also they're showing me a crescent moon. Um yeah. Like a very specific night is why I'm getting yeah. I feel like this person is going to approach you at night or they're going to drop a text or they're going to call you. something on that sort as well and i feel like it takes a lot for this person to get out of their shell and to actually be able to express what is on their mind and um yeah i feel like it's not that easy for them and you could be watching this and be like oh but why not like why can't this person just express what it is or like even drop a hint this person it's like really hard for them and i totally see it i totally feel this person's vibe and i know what this person has been through and why they are the way they are 
um, it kind of really, it does make sense. This person could be far away from you. Um, yeah. But I'm hearing something about the time is ticking. And this person is waiting also. They're waiting for something to stir, for something to happen. I'm also getting for from this person that um, there's something about like when you're going to be with this person and this is going to be a bit too um, too much but I'm literally sensing that if you're going to be near this person they're going to feel this energy rush inside of them and it's like um, it's really pleasurable for this person and that's the kind of same similar vibe you're also going to have it's going to be both ways and um i feel like that's why this person's connection with you is different than all the other people who might be having a crush on you or something of that sort or who you might be inclining towards around this time but with this person it's different when you're going to be near this person note this down um when you're going to be near this person you're going to be feeling this um, surge of energy rush inside of you. And that's the exact same thing that person is sensing. And I feel like that is what sets this connection apart. That you both are going to have this magnetic bond, I feel. And, um, yeah. But this person is not talking. You're not talking to this person right now. And, um, yeah, for some of you, you are, I don't know why am I getting for some, like for a very few of you, that you're pretending that you don't want to talk or you're pretending that you don't care, something of that sort as well. Or this person is pretending, but there is someone pretending here, definitely, but on like on top of that regardless there is someone stalking as well especially it could be the person who is pretending maybe they're stalking the other person and um and for some of you i am sensing that um you're going to meet up with this person at an event or this is going to be some sort of a social gathering or something and i feel like this person and you you both are going to cross paths again at this event or something even if you don't have any plans to meet i feel like you you guys are going to meet again and um yeah i feel like that is something which is going to be a little unexpected and like this person is not expecting it you're also not expecting it but i feel like that's gonna happen and with this hermit card over here and with the um seven of swords and the chariot and that is very much um obvious that this person is keeping it all in and they're not really expressing anything yeah okay um for a very few of you i'm also getting this is a very random message but um i feel like for some of you you're going to be meeting up with someone like in the upcoming months and this is a totally new person i feel like you've never met this person um this could be someone from your past life but this is not someone from your past and i feel like things are really gonna be um like flying with this person almost like right from the start and um it's gonna be really good um but i feel like yeah for some of you um i feel like you're gonna be meeting up with someone new so that's a very good thing somebody's name could start with a k an a an s i'm also getting a p and an r okay so um I'm going to finish off this part right here 
If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. That really helps me out. And um, do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, which is catered to your own needs, your own requirements, and your own situation, then you can email me and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.